Hey there everyone and welcome back to more Rayman 3. We're here in the Hoodlum headquarters being off some Hoodlums. And they need to go down. Wow, earthquakes. There's so much lag! Why? Alright, it's gone. Also, before we do anything, let's look at this Hoodstormer that's dying right here. A particularly irritating airborne Hoodlum. Fortunately, his awkward propellers prevent him from walking. And he's dead. Now we can go over here, there's this guy. Gonna go and get this guy in a combo. And get this stuff. I guess I could have gotten these in the combo with the ho other hoodlums, but I wasn't thinking. Because, you know, I think really good. Rayman, over here, quick on timing! Invisible thing. Alright, so hitting this switch will cause this hoodlum to appear. You can actually- he's actually there, but he's like in between the pipes, so you, I'm pretty sure it's impossible to hit him. I tried, but you can't. So now we hit the switch. And then we're gonna go ahead and get this one as well. There's a cage hidden right there. I have to go. I'm late for my drum solo. Well, I will obviously get it in the combo right here. Well, not in the combo, but just I mean with the the power up suit thing in the jig. Door. Get the rest of the stuff. And we move on. Please note that I'm also down with 20 deformation bows and 16 animations, resulting in a kind of flexibility that comes in handy during combat and in more intimate situations. Alright, so we have this ball thing that we need to take to the other side of this bridge area and there's these guys that are doing a little bit of target practice here you can see them shooting the Raymans oh and then there's this guy and he's like how does this gun work again oh like that and then he just kind of dies I'm gonna get you though you're not running away you need to pay for your mistakes become good again Also, no sound effect, apparently. So, you might have seen that there is a mushroom right over there. We're gonna go ahead, but first, Matuku right over here. And now we're gonna get these lovely prizes. Here we go. There's some lovely score right here. And now time to kill these guys. As long as you don't know how to shoot, you will remain locked in the fire range. 
So yeah, now we're locked up in here and we need to do some target practice ourselves. And the objective is to hit all the Raymans and glow boxes and not hit the ladies. Because that makes the bar go back up. It actually goes up back up by like twice the amount. And that does that. And now that also finishes that level. Um I have no idea why the camera wasn't there. Okay. This game is glitchy, even when I'm not trying to make it glitchy. The the black lungs <sighs> also, this is the Black Lums hot spot. It's, as you can see, very hot. Also, game, please don't lag. This is not the time. It's kind of impolite. Due to the extreme sensitivity of the god, we kindly ask you not to be present. And to avoid verifying the room temperature. I guess apologies in advance for the frame drops. I don't know why it's doing that. It happened in, I think, part one as no way i think it was part two when i record a part two it lagged like crazy and it wouldn't stop so hopefully that's not the case right here all right so there's a matufu right over there go get real quick then we're gonna go up here and avoid these I guess pipes filled with lava I guess maybe I don't know how also they can combo you kind of like you get no invincibility frames if you get hit by them And by touching this ladder, it will go down. So if we ever fall down, we have a little shortcut. I've got some of these guys. And in the meantime, we'll, we'll also steal their goodies. Now hitting that switch makes these platforms come down and we need them to get onto that conveyor belt. Also watch out for this steam because it hurts a lot. Like if you get in in its range, like if you get within, within its range and it starts spewing out that gas, you take a lot of damage. Like you can get combo. Like you don't necessarily die immediately, but, but you'll take a hell of a lot of uh, damage. So, you need to be careful with that. Now, if we go around this area, there's going to be a cage right around here. And we get a green gem. Now we're gonna go up these platforms and go up. Up, 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 up. I would get a blue can and just, you know, get all these prizes with more points, but for the sake of the walkthrough, I'm not gonna do that the whole time. Now if you go in here, there's an Easter egg. We got the whole Raven 2 baddies cast in here. We got these Gorilla Pirates, we got the Henchman 800s. Got Spyglass Pirates and Razor Beard. It's kind of cool to see them here. It's like I don't know. It's not even like 
it's just an Easter egg, really. Like, I would think, like, oh, the... The Hoodlums found, like, the dead parts of these robots and made them into, like... I don't know, they just rebuilt them or something, but then it wouldn't make sense that Razor Bear is here. So yeah, that's cool. Now we're gonna go back and actually get back with the adventures, I guess. And yeah, you can't roll under them, so that's kind of unfortunate. What? Okay, well it didn't matter that I just fell there, because I could just grab onto that. I guess you can't grab that ledge from there. We will go down here though, because there's the tri bell right over there. Obviously you can gonna uh, get it in a combo, because that's what I do. Now we got these platforms, which I don't even know what they're supposed to be. But you can stand on them and they're there, so may as well use them. Now we're TCK drop here and it's gonna give us some nice prizes again. Also the gems are just clipped into the ground. Yep, nice game. Also, I see a dollar sign that just disappeared. And now we're here. Oh, and there's a heckler. But how about I kill you? Like that. Getting deeper into the factory of hell and lots of wood and I didn't get... Okay, so I, I guess I should have gone for the blue can anyways. I was kind... I kind of figured that would happen anyway. Anyway, now we can go through this room right here, but we're gonna drop down instead. Because there's lots of prizes for us to get here. You can also hear Glowbox kind of suffering, I guess. Also, there's a green gem right over there. It's just kind of randomly there in a piggy bank, which is kind of peculiar. There he is, Glowbox is just being kind of there. Oh, and he's getting scared of things. You are currently in the hall of the horrible machine. This is where. Alright, so the objective of this boss is you have to hit this meter all the way up to the top and then the whole machine goes crazy and some of its health goes down and then these enemies start spawning, which is complete RNG which enemies you get. You can either get these uh, hood booms, you can get um, hood stormers, you can get uh, or you can get the the Hootmonger Soldiers. So right here we're gonna get Hootstormers. Yeah, let's kind of fight them off. Also, the, the further you get into this fight, the faster these fireballs will go, which doesn't really add that much to the challenge. Like, it would have been more challenging if that meter went down quicker. 
the, the more powerful your shots are when you hit that eye, uh, the, the longer it takes for that meter to go back down. And what are we gonna get next? We're gonna get the bomb, the hoop booms. That's what the bomb is. It's pretty difficult to not get hit in this fight, but it doesn't really matter because, like, when, whenever you get hit, those little energy things here are just kind of respawn. Like, if you have already, if you already collected them. a little more and that's the end also I didn't give him the time to finish his sentence not like it matters So now we have to escape and not hit the camera button by accident. We have to escape from the lava which m looks more like lemonade. Run from the lemonade! I don't want to wipe pretty shoes dirty. They're nice and clean. Uh, well, I just kind of glitched up that platform. Okay. So this lava, if you get hit by it three times in a row, you're dead. So it is the same properties as the Knar and Sand. You know, the, the deadly kind of properties. Just a little more. Just a little more. And with that, I'm also going to end off that part, this part. So I hope you enjoyed. And in the next part, we'll hopefully get to the Tower of the Leptis. See you guys later!